this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here with another one of my 12 weeks of fall and Halloween projects. This is week number 10, making a fall project. And if you're looking for a super quick and easy treat bag, this is the one you want to make. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I just realized I'd never done a tutorial on how to make one of these before, so I thought I'd do one today. And hope you like it. Let's get started. First off, I used a dice set called Detailed Leaves Thin Let's Dies. This coordinates with the Falling for Leaves stamp set, but I, I'm actually not using any stamping today, so we're not using the stamp set. I know that's amazing. I always stamp it on everything. But this time I didn't want to uh, deter from the leaf. I really liked how this leaf turned out, and I didn't want to have to put a banner in front of it because I wanted to show off the leaf a lot better. So this is the only die I'll be using. Is this detailed one here. And just to show you what I did with it, to die cut it, you take a two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch piece of the galvanized metallic paper. You're going to use your uh, magnetic platform is what I used. You can also use the Big Shot platform with a thin die adapter, standard cutting pad, the um, paper, then the die with the blade facing down, and you just kind of put that on there like that. Put another standard cutting pad on top and run it through your Big Shot. So that's all you need to do to die cut that. And I probably ran it through a couple times to make sure I got everything cut out, but it cut out really easy. And here's one that's already cut out. And then it's a little hard, probably a little hard to tell in the video. This one here is just without inking it up. This one I inked up a little bit because I wanted it more of a vintage look to it or a tarnished look. So I'll show you how to do that. And bring in a little piece of grid paper. I'm going to take my early espresso ink pad with a sponge dauber, put some ink on it, and then just rub it all over the leaf. And that darkens it up and gives it that neat tarnished look. And that's it. It goes really fast. Just ink it up. As you can see it's starting to darken. And here's the darkened area, and there's the part I haven't done yet. And there we go. And that gives it just a neat tarnished effect. So the leaf's ready to go, so I'll put that over to the side. Now I'll show you how to make the bag itself. You need a 6 inch by 6 inch piece of designer paper. This is from the Country Lane designer paper. I love the cotton look on this one. And this is the, the part I want to be on the outside of my pouch. So you want that facing down. And then you uh, hold, uh, lay it down like a diamond shape. And I'm going to take this corner and put it up to this one. And you want to make sure that you get all the sides lined up for this to work right up. There we go, that looks pretty good. I'm going to take my bone folder, and I like using my bone folder because it does a lot sharper crease. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take this point and put it up here to the center, close to the center. The trick to this is you want this to be parallel with this. So right now I've got that angled, so let's put it up a little farther and make sure this bottom side here is parallel to this one. That's pr that's pretty close. So I'll go ahead and use my bone folder again and get a real sharp crease there. Now, and this point is just right up against the edge. Now I'm going to bring this around and I want this point to meet this little corner up here that I just made in that fold. So hold that there. Kind of push it down. Now I'll take my bone folder again. Here, use my right hand to do it a little better. There we go. And that gives you the nice little crease. It doesn't look like I got it lined up real well, so let's go ahead and do it a little bit more again, fix that up. There we go, that's a lot better. So that's ready to go. And now, you wanna take just the top triangle up here and bring that down, bring it down as far as it can go, and fold that. And that's the pouch. Kind of angle it a little bit. And you don't have to put an adhesive on it. That actually keeps the pouch together. But I like to put a little bit here just to keep this down. So I'm going to grab my glue dots and just put it right there on the tip. And that'll hold it down. Now I'm going to bring my leaf back in. I'm just going to put adhesive here on the middle part. and stick it on at an angle, right there. Okay, now I'm gonna bring get a galvanized button 
and the, all everything I've used I'm using today is from the holiday catalog and this is the four inch piece of the 3 16 inch braided linen trim and it tends to be a little flat on the ends and that doesn't quite go into the little circular holes in the button so what I do I wet my thumb a little bit my fingers a little bit and twist until it's a little rounded and then I'm going to start from the top and go down because I want to bring the same end back through the other hole so that way I don't have to mess with this end so I'm going to go through the other hole if it starts to fray again get your finger wet again and twist it a little it's okay if it starts to fray because we're going to fray it when we're done there we go just couldn't get a hold of it there for a second there we go and I'm going to tie it into a double knot. You don't have to worry about the ends being perfectly the same length because we're going to trim them down a little bit. I made it a little longer than it needed to be because it's a lot easier to tie that way. Okay, now that's ready. I'll bring my scissors in. Just trim the ends a little bit. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I can keep this just like it is. Actually, I want to trim that down a little bit again. That looks more even. But I like fraying this ribbon a lot, I, this trim a lot. I've been doing that a lot, and it's so easy to do. See how easy that comes apart? I just thought the frayed look looked a lot better with this, with the fall look. So that's ready to go. Now I'll grab my glue dots again. Put a glue dot right in the center of the button. And then I'm going to put it right here in the center of the leaf. And kind of push it down a little hard, that way it's on there really good and that way it won't wobble on you. Now I'm going to get two, two little Heath bars here and the way I open this up I just put my fingers inside and then squeeze the ends like this to open it up a little bit and then you can pop those right in. And of course you can put whatever you want in that'll fit. And that's it. So see how quick that went? So you could mass produce these really quick. Hope you like this week's project. Um, hope you come back next week. I'll have another one. It'll be Halloween Project next week. We've only got two more in this series. And if you'd like to be notified every time I post as, uh, one of my videos on my YouTube channel, please just subscribe below. I've also got links to my Pinterest page, Facebook page, and my um, Instagram page. And you can also see me at my blog, www.createwithchrissy.com. And if you'd like to place any orders for Stampin' Up, you can uh, do that through my site at createwithchristy.com. And also, I've got a new program I started. When you place a $50 order, you get a doily. It's a doily rewards program. And for every $50 you place on an order, you'll get a doily. When you collect 10, then you'll get a $50 shopping spree from, uh, free from me. And I'll also pay for the shipping and handling for you. So if you're interested in that, there's a link below about my doily rewards program so you can find out all the particulars. And you also need to use the current month's host code, and you can find that also at that link. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon.